first thing we're going to do is call the phasing adjustment and by that um, I have the manual in front of me it says here we want the 38 kilohertz subcarrier and the pilot signal are we want those to be properly phased so what we do is we connect the composite output to the vertical input scope and the 19 kilohertz output connects to the horizontal input of the scope of course here I'm like in my scope we have to put the scope in the XY position so to speak um, first thing we got to do we got to make sure we get something coming out here a lot of times what's happened before I've had bad connections with these especially with these homemade connectors here even with the, the bot ones so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first okay there's the composite output and looks like we've got connection all the way up to the oscilloscope so that's good and as far as my connectors are concerned I've made these little mini plugs and I put alligator clips on the end they were actually made for something else but I'm gonna to have to use them um, this instance it says here to keep the connections as short as possible well that's all I got so next we'll go ahead and check the basically the pilot signal I might add the amplitude of the composite signal as suggested here by this knob and right now I've got it three quarters of the way up so next the 19 kilohertz pilot signal and we get something there a lot of times just problem with bad connections so put that in there and of course in order to get a reading we're gonna to have to turn it on so we got that now we'll take a look at the scope and there's that 19 kilohertz pilot signal so we're good to go with that so now to do the actual adjustment the function switch supposed to be to external modulation pilot switch is on and then we put the scope in the XY position so we get a basically what we want is a slanted line and uh, let's go ahead and do that so here we go the scope is in the XY position and we got to play around with the little the controls now so we get a slanted line that's what we're looking for um, if it's some kind of a loop or something like that then we'd have to go ahead and make an adjustment in the back now I took this out of adjustment and that's how that looks I can't do I can't use the uh, scope and the screwdriver at the same time so I'm going to put it back in adjustment now if it's out of adjustment it's going to be a loop and there we go now it's back in adjustment so next we do what's called a subcarrier pilot phasing and we switch the pilot modulation switch to off the function switch to L minus R and of course we gotta play around with our controls again I have just did by adjusting the um, basically the vertical gain oh one more thing it says push the composite here the composite amplitude to maximum and when the two signals are properly phased I'm reading from the menu now the trace will be as shown in figure 2.2 .2, where two leap two loops meet at the baseline and if the trace is not clearly defined set the mod phase adjuster on the rear panel now we can take a look at my signal I want to get something like this and let me twiddle around a little bit okay this is how it's not supposed to look let me put it back in the original position now I'm back to the original position and that's how it's supposed to look next we do the pilot level check and adjustment we set the function switch to external modulation pilot switch on um 
composite level at minimum RF switch off so the multimeter is now hooked up to the 19 kilohertz output to the mini plug of the 19 kilohertz output and I'm getting a completely wrong reading I don't think the multimeter can handle the 19 kilohertz frequency so I'm going to go ahead and switch to a AC analog voltmeter uh, which can handle high frequencies so that might be the way to go so and with this reading we're supposed to get 100 millivolts and here is exactly 100 millivolts so looks like we're good to go with that if not there's an adjustment again in the back where this can be changed so now comes the composite output check and adjustment function switch to L plus R composite level to max control knob to RF off pulled out it's off um, pilot modulation switch to off and we hook up the AC millivolt meter to the composite output jack and the output should be one volt RMS at maximum so hook up the meter so we can take a look at the meter and it's one volt so we're pretty we're pretty close I don't think I'm going to adjust it now if that voltage wasn't correct you would adjust VR407 on the printed circuit board okay next we check the left and right channel separation and the channel separation is supposed to be over 50 decibels at 1 kilohertz and we need to set the function switch to L or R the pilot modulation switch to off the composite level the max the control knob at RF off and the scope controls for waveform display okay we we attach a scope to the composite output all right so let me go ahead and do a hookup real quick so we're actually hooked up here you can see now we can go ahead and turn the scope back on and take a look so what we're looking for with this adjustment we want the baseline here to be flat and not wavy if not there's a um, control on the printed circuit board which you can be adjusted and that control is VR404 on the printed circuit board let me go ahead and open this thing up real quick okay I got this thing open and this one right here this seems to be VR404 now it's kind of hard to show this on with the camera this is how it's not supposed to look because it's kind of wavy down here the baseline baseline is supposed to be straight I'm going to go ahead and adjust it again so it's uh, straight here now maybe here, here with the see right there it's got little little hills in it and want that to be straight I'll show that in a second so I had to play around with the controls a little bit here um, so I could get basically magnify this a little bit and now you can see that this line here is now straight and that's how it uh, should be so now I'm checking the output from the 1 kilohertz jack and that should be 1 volt RMS and for this I'm just using my digital multimeter here so that looks good to go if not we would have to adjust VR302 and I have determined this one here my fingers pointing at it's determined that to be VR302 the last thing I do is check for the 67 kilohertz frequency and of course I take the measurement off of the composite audio jack and I put this in the 67 kilohertz position anything else I need to do no I don't think so and here's the frequency 67 kilohertz so I think that concludes the 
adjustments. Now there's one last thing I have to point out. Um, how do we know we're getting anything out of the RF output here? Well, I've got a cable hooked up here and I've just got it hooked up straight to the back of the receiver. I'm not even using any kind of impedance matching network. I'm just, this is just to show that there's something coming out. And you can hear this sound. I have, of course I had to, this, the RF frequency here is 100 megahertz. So I had to dial the tuner of the receiver I'm using to 100 megahertz. And also in order to get a stereo light to come on, the pilot light, this pilot uh, little indicator has to come on. You have to put the switch in the pilot mod modulation on. And also your, your composite level here has got to be up to a certain degree or else you're not going to hear anything coming out. And I can demonstrate this right here in this receiver. Here we can see the light is on. That's because the pilot modulation is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And that's it. Nothing comes out.